talk children's toys. I was in a shop this week looking at kids' pyjamas. Now, that's... <laughs> I know that sounds dodgy, but I was with my five-year-old cousin. Anyways, we were looking at these pyjamas, and on the boys' one it said, I want to be a superhero, and on the girls' one it said, I want to be a princess. And it struck me, why can't girls be superheroes? Why is it so hard to buy a present for a girl that isn't patronising and shit? Cos you look at boys' toys and the adverts are all like, kill that, be a winner, climb the thing, use your brain, rule the world, cos you're a motherfucking boy, yeah! <laughs> Girls' adverts, it's just a blizzard of pink. Let's get creative with your nails. Add dots, hearts or stripes. Or a bee's soothing spa when you need time to relax. Shop hands, shop hands. Stationery, homewares. It's a whole world of shopping cuteness. I'm gonna stop my own clothing line. Welcome to my salon. You can share your pictures and get lots of likes from friends. Say hello to fashion. Say hello to shoes. Lots of shoes. Don't use your brains, girls. Just be pretty. <laughs> the message we give girls is so toxic. I mean, look at this. This is a boy's laptop, which has 50 functions. The girls' one has 25. Why has he got half as many? You wouldn't give a girl a bike with one wheel. <laughs> Where you been, Jenny? Nowhere. <laughs> Are they saying women can't multitask? Cos that's bullshit. My mum can cook dinner, feed the dogs, watch Strictly and Skype my sister all at the same time. My dad, he can't even take a shit and shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> all right there, Ross? <laughs> Not really, Dad. I want to see you shit yourself. <laughs> also, a man's laptop doesn't need 50 functions. It just needs one. Delete history. <laughs> men have so much grot on their laptops and phones, there's going to be a whole generation of men whose dying words are, Restore factory settings! <laughs> <laughs> and it's not just toys, it's everywhere. Look at the messages in nursery rhymes. The boys are always the winners. The girls get nothing. Old MacDonald had a farm. Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> the grand old Duke of York had 10,000 men. Polly! Put a kettle on. <laughs> Jack climbed a beanstalk. What did the old woman do? Lived in a shoe. <laughs> At least they tried to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. If that had been a woman, they'd have turned her into a fucking omelette. <laughs> They're either witches or princesses. You can be pretty and win or ugly and fail. Clothes are even worse. Look at the kind of message you get on a baby grow for boys. I'm super. Here's a girl's one. I hate my thighs. <laughs> Who buys that for their kid? Who body shames a toddler? No two-year-old hates their thighs because they're two! <laughs> I've never seen a toddler in front of a mirror like that. <laughs> I'm not sandpit body ready. <laughs> Just in a nappy. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Does my bum look big in there? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Toddlers have got bigger issues to worry about, like how to use a slide. There'll be people going, stop moaning about this, Russ. Little girls like being pretty. Always have, always will. Maybe you're wrong. Maybe, over time, stuff like this slowly destroys their confidence. British women have the lowest self-esteem in the world. Just 20% like the way they look. Maybe that's got something to do with the fact that when they're little, boys get tops that say, time to change the world. And girls get hats that say, future footballer's wife. Think of the message that sends. Boys, you can do anything. Girls, if you're really lucky, one day you'll fuck Wayne Rooney. <laughs> and then he'll fuck your nan. <laughs> what, I'm... <laughs> what I'm saying is, the toys we play with when we're kids can play a big role in what jobs we get when we're older. For example, gender toys could deter girls from a career in engineering. Toys with a science focus are three times more likely to be targeted at boys. 
We should be telling girls to look pretty. We should be encouraging them to create, build, solve, explore, so that when they're older, they have the confidence to get the kind of jobs we need. Right now, the UK has the lowest percentage of female engineers in Europe. We need more women in science. Think about it. Why would you want to discourage half the population from doing jobs that can make the world better? Little girls could grow up and cure cancer, reverse climate change, or finally create a self-closing door so I don't have to watch my dad take a <laughs> shit. <laughs>